I can confirm that Thailand is amazing. I have you in my office right now and we live in a four-story villa where we convert our extra bedrooms into offices. When I first started traveling the world, I would like go to coffee shops and work in different places and try and be like the digital nomad. But what I realized is that I actually am not good at being a digital nomad. I'm not a digital nomad at all. This is why we convert every single bedroom into one of our offices wherever we lived. When I first started, I would go to these coffee shops and pretend as if I was gonna be working and I would just never work. I'd end up ordering like 5 million coffees and then <laughs> I would be like cracked out on coffee, playing around in Canva for hours, pretending like I was working on my business, come home and actually not make any money. And so last year was the first year in traveling the world where I discovered I'm not going to coffee shops. And now that I think about it, I don't think I ever took my laptop to a coffee shop. In 2021, I was like, we're done with coffee shops. We're done being that sort of digital nomad style. So now you're in my office. It's very, very simple. I have this TV here, beautiful uh, patio balcony thing that looks over the Gulf of Thailand. TV, there's a bed in here, which is nice in case I wanna work from my bed. And then usually I just sit right here, put my chair like this with my Freedom Queen robe, and I just record content, whether it's for TikTok, for Instagram, our podcast, and right in front of me here, we have our laptop. It's very simple. I have actually had this laptop since I started my business. Actually, this laptop, this is, a, this is a hilarious story behind this laptop. So I got this laptop. I had just, I was about to quit my teaching job. So I taught in New York City schools for two years right out of college. It was my dream job. I was like, okay, I'm gonna be directing this dance program. I'm gonna be teaching dance, choreographing on the side, doing all these things. And so I, because I was a teacher, I got a discount at Apple. So I remember while I was a teacher, I knew that I was quitting. So I went to the Apple store, got this new laptop. I think I got like $300 off. I was so like schemey then. Like I would try and find the best discounts. I don't do any of that anymore, <laughs> which is probably why I was broke at the time. But I would go to the Apple store. I think I returned my old, old MacBook Pro from college. I sold that one, got the discount on this laptop, and then I quit and I got a new job and the new job didn't provide us with laptops because the old one provided us with the MacBook Air, the one I have now. So I got this MacBook Air in 2019 and it is still like, it has been amazing. I've literally taken it all around the world. I have been on ships and small canoes and it's almost fallen in the ocean and really humid areas and taken it out on the beach and it is amazing. I think a lot of times people think Oh, well, because your business has grown now, shouldn't you have like crazy high tech stuff? And I don't, I, I don't, I have like a mouse that's from, I got it in Mexico. It's like the equivalent of a Walmart in Mexico. And it's, it was like $4. And then I have a ring light that I got in 2020 for, I don't know, 10 bucks on Amazon. It's the simplest thing ever here. I'll show it to you. It is literally the simplest thing ever. It just clips right onto your phone or your computer, and then it has a couple different settings, and then you plug it into a USB. Very, sim very, very simple. And then I have the tripod that you are currently sitting on right now. Again, very simple, like I don't, it's just a tripod. Um, and then recently I got this new camera. It's just a Logitech camera, and it sits on my computer. I've really enjoyed uh, recording some content with this, but honestly, I think I'm, I don't think I'm going to use it. I got it a, a couple months ago and I don't think I'm going to use it. I got it for myself for Christmas. My iPhone records better content than this camera does. So sometimes I'll use it for calls and things like that. But other than that, I'm just going to stick with using my iPhone because it's, it's so easy. I've always believed in simple scales, complex fails. Like I don't, I want this to be the easiest business ever. I want to make it so sim simple to run. And that's been true for my entire business. I don't have any crazy tech. I don't like, I travel with my MacBook. I know some people say, oh, like I need a big computer in order to run my business. And I'm like, 
<clears throat> I've been running my business off the same MacBook Air that I got in 2019 and my iPhone. Simple scales, complex fails. Now I do upgrade my iPhone every year to the new iPhone because this is literally how I run my business. And as you, as I just told you, it's the best camera. It's better than even like a, a company that creates cameras. So I just use my iPhone to record content on it. I do some behind the scenes, seven second videos on it, everything. So yeah, I keep it simple. Robbie got a, a podcast mic for Christmas a couple years ago and I just use his. Like there's, there's no, <laughs> there's no overcomplicating it over here. Especially since I travel, I can only keep, you know, I only have a carry on suitcase. It's, it's up in my closet here. I'll give you a little, a little sneak peek of my closet, but up there, that's all I have to travel with. And then all of my clothes here, they all fit inside of it. So I don't have a lot of space to keep stuff with me. So I don't have a lot of stuff, which is really nice. And you know me, I'm kind of a minimalist. Like I have a good amount of things, but I'm not a minimalist. Like I wear the same white shirt every single day, but I don't really have a lot of stuff. I, I go shopping sometimes, but not, not a ton. So life in Thailand has been amazing. I took January and February really to just take care of myself. I started working with my trainer that I work with in Costa Rica, who's just phenomenal. We have our, our person, our trainer person here in coast in Thailand who cooks all of our meals for us and she's amazing. And um, I just took a lot of time to take care of myself in January and February. I made some friends here in Thailand, which has been amazing. That was like something I prayed for to happen in 2023. And I, I rested a lot. I also got my IUD out a couple days ago, which is amazing. I feel like a free wild woman. I feel so free and incredible. And my business still grew. We just hit $1 million in revenue in just over two years, which is freaking awesome. But honestly, I don't, I don't feel any different. If you're inside of our Freedom Queen Facebook group, I, I'm going to post about it in there. And if you're not, I'll, I'll put the link in the show notes here so you can get inside of there. But I just, like, I, again, I don't feel any different. I've taken action every single day since starting my business. I have studied sales, marketing, business strategy, taking action. Everybody thinks like there's some secret hack or something like that, but you really have just got to show up and believe that you are the one that's going to do it and it will happen, but you got to keep taking action. Most people underestimate the amount of action required. I have no, no problem with putting in the work and showing up. And I think a lot of times in my business, I'm afraid to talk about that. I'm afraid to say, you know, work hard. I remember when Kim Kardashian was like, people need to get up and work. And she got so much backlash for that. And I remember being like, wait, what? People are upset about that. <laughs> I was raised in an environment where you just work hard. Like that's what you do. I got my first job at 13. I started working. I had businesses in high school. Like I just was always looking for a way to serve people, to bring in income and I, I love selling. I've always loved selling and working hard and I understand that. So a lot of that has been obviously a part of my business and scaling to 1 million now, but I think sometimes I am afraid to talk on social media about it, even though like that's really what I believe at my core. So recently I said, I'm stepping into a new era. You're going to see me talking a lot more about movement, about taking action, about showing up like physically in your body, moving your body daily, but also taking action in your business and moving like you are the queen of your life, moving like you are in rain, like you are reigning, like not like reigning, but like R-E-I-G-N, like you're reigning, <laughs> um, which I'm very excited to bring. You guys know I've built the Freedom Queen community. And if you don't know what the Freedom Queen community is, welcome, you are now a Freedom Queen and put your crown on where this means you get to make as much money as you decide you want to make. You get to say what you want to say, wear what you want to wear, build what you want to build, live where you want to live. You just have full autonomy over your life, pure, pre pure, freedom. pure freedom. And you get to create that inside of your life. So, and then being a queen, serving yourself, serving your community, showing up at the highest level and reigning. So 
and, and building massive empire. So I'm, I'm so excited that you're here, Freedom Queen, but I've built this community and I've always been focused on the Freedom Queen, on the person, on the community, on the relationships, on the friendships, on the networking, on that. And I remember when I first started, I used to think, am I making a mistake by putting so much effort into the people? And because when I started, like there were so many people making hundreds and thousands of dollars. And I mean, I was, I made some money, but not a lot of money in the beginning. And I'm so glad I started with that because now I can see how this is really going to transcend into a massive international company where people, people know it around the world. We're already starting something called Freedom Queen on the ground pioneers. And what that means is people in different locations around the world are going to start hosting Freedom Queen events. Now, Obviously, I won't be there. Maybe I'll be able to come to some of the pop-ups around the world as we grow. But in the beginning, you get to host your own Freedom Queen on the ground events where you're teaching people whatever it is that you do in your niche. You're teaching people how to move. You're teaching them to show up. You're teaching them to be the most. And I, I'm just so excited. So this year, I know it's going to be quantum. I know it's going to be massive. I have a lot of things that I want to do and plan out. And all of it requires faith, it requires taking action, it requires showing up in a bigger way. And I don't just mean making bigger moves, but I also mean you moving as a bigger player, like internally, being willing to dream so big, being like daring to hold crazy ass visions that no one else is willing to do. And that's something I've always been good at, but I wanna take it to another level. I wanna take it to a whole other level for you where it's like, People are just like, how is she doing this? The other day I was interviewed on someone's Instagram channel and they said to me, like, what are you, what is your vision? What are you doing? And I said, in the Freedom Queen world, we're doing these on the ground events now. And she's like, wow, I've never seen anyone do that. I'm like, I know, like, it's so cool. So just my heart for you is, I want to share this with you. My heart wants to share this with you. If there's an idea that you have for the movement that you're building, please, Go do it, launch it, get it out there because no one's doing it and I can guarantee that your people will want to do it as well. So you're gonna see the Freedom Queen pop-up events start to pop up soon, probably by mid-year, maybe May, even April, May. And um, yeah, I'm just so excited to make this happen. And again, I feel like the Freedom Queen on the ground events are something that right now it doesn't make sense like right now it doesn't make sense to do these because there's, there's a lot of work that's put into it there's a lot of behind the scenes however i also know that it's something that it needs to be done and it needs to be moved i need to start moving with it now so, so that i can build it out as it goes i've always been like the person that builds the ship as we're sailing the seas <laughs> because while everyone else is like trying to perfect it, which perfection never occurs, while everyone else is trying to plan out their offer, how do I sell? I will be selling, I will be building, I will be dancing, I will be performing, I will be doing the thing, I will be working with the client, I will be traveling the world. While everyone is booking their plane tickets, I'm already up in the air. And that's just how I've always operated. Like, yeah, so that's something that with the with the freedom queen on the ground events it's something that I, i'm taking action on now because i know it's going to take some time to build which even saying that out loud i'm like maybe i can defy that odd okay freedom queen i hope you enjoyed this episode we're going to be doing all of our youtube videos in a different format i'm going to be recording them all right from my iphone i think it's a little bit better quality honestly than the camera that i've been recently uploading with comment below make sure that you're subscribed to this channel i'm going to be posting a lot more long form video format on this channel where you get to see a little bit more behind the scenes of my life in Thailand. You get moments like this, which I think are 10 times more beneficial than any sort of strategy, even though you know your girl loves some strategy. So tonight, Robbie and I, we're gonna ride his scooter in the sunset to the southeast part of the island, and we're gonna go get burritos and then watch a movie in our movie room. Okay, bye, friend and queen. Make sure that you're subscribed, and I will see you in the next one.